guys so i know i have not updated you guys i don't think i've ever done like a life update but um yeah i feel like a lot has gone on and i have not addressed it but that's only because i wanted everything to be like perfect before i post it but um you know i'm like a perfectionist like i feel like there's always things i can improve and like never never satisfied type vibes um so basically let's address the first thing a lot of you guys probably already know but i moved i moved to sf and yeah i'm just really excited also the reason i'm sitting on the floor is because i just got home from work like a little bit ago and um i don't know i just feel like disgusted when like i ride public transport and then i sit on my furniture so i literally like only sit on the floor until i shower <laughs> i don't know if i'm weird but i don't know i just feel like i don't know like so many people sit on there and like it's disgusting okay anyways it's my first apartment on my own which i'm really thankful and happy and blessed but i also get kind of lonely <laughs> sometimes but yeah it's nice like you know having your space and like you know decorating how you want and stuff i've always wanted to live in a stuff like i've lived in like the east bay like berkeley and stuff but i don't know sf's like a whole different vibe definitely more expensive like i feel like you literally get charged to like breathe here honestly like also sorry that i look like a literal child i got off work like i said and like obviously you have to wear like masks at work so there's no even point of like doing your makeup honestly and i was not gonna put on makeup when i felt like kind of dirty and like needed to shower it's already been like two month end of like july like literally like july 30th i think and now it's like october i've been putting this off is because like you know there's still like little things i want to add to my apartment and i wanted it to just be like perfect but i realized like there's always going to be things i want to add or change or whatever so yeah this is very much like there's still some things to be done but i filmed the process of me like getting my furniture and like yeah getting my furniture my apartment empty moving like all that stuff surprisingly i found like literally like i think everything except for my bed is from facebook marketplace so honestly just go look like you can get like really good deals on stuff like and save a lot of money and you can also like bargain with people so yeah just keep that in mind oh and another life update i've done two drops for my brands berry studios and i'm currently working on the third one it's gonna be something different this time not corsets anymore um and it's also gonna be unisex so like yeah yeah it's also gonna be unisex and i'm really excited i hope it goes as i'm like envisioning it like i have the patterns and everything but i haven't started like sewing it so yeah i'm hoping it'll go as planned my brand if you're not already at Zaberry studios go follow my instagram at sarazitsberry um subscribe if you're not already I'm gonna be a lot more consistent and I don't know I'm just feeling you know more inspired now that I'm in Etsy <laughs> um and yeah I'm just excited and I hope you guys like it I hope I can inspire you guys I'm like going on a tangent it's like nighttime right now or not even nighttime but it's like dark and I feel like like one thing I really liked about my this apartment is like there's a lot of natural light my old apartment in berkeley had a lot of natural light too which i really loved about it um 
but yeah i never really filmed in there i don't know why but anyways yeah so i will show you guys it in the day as well literally the crack of dawn um okay no it's actually like eight but i woke up at the crack of dawn more like like kind of 650 type vibe um but right now i'm going to get some furniture and i'm really okay let me stop crinkling my burrito but honestly if you want a breakfast burrito like quick and like pretty cheap honestly and good like not nasty go to phil's because their breakfast burritos like i don't know what's the like laced in here <laughs> I don't know what's like in here that makes it just so far like I don't know if every time I eat it I'm just like starving so it just hits different or if it's actually just that good I'm far <laughs> get some furniture today honestly don't even ask me why I'm like making a trip to get this even though i'm moving out like like later in this month but honestly i have been on facebook marketplace like heavy like i scroll on there more than i scroll on instagram or anything and i found the cutest coffee table and i got her to lower the price and I was just like okay I need it like absolutely need it but she couldn't hold it for that long so like I have to go get it and that will fit in my trunk so I'm also getting this mirror it's it's like those anthropology ones why did my voice buffer but it's like those anthropology ones um the gold the huge like gold ones i'm sure you guys have seen it but they're usually like thousands of dollars and this girl was like she's moving so she negotiated it down to 50 dollars so like that is just a steal like that i i didn't even think about it like i just bought it and also like she's moving so she can't really hold it for me that i am stressed won't fit in my car like okay my trunk space and everything's pretty big like with the seats folded down but um the thing is like width wise it'll fit but like also i don't know if it'll fit with the coffee table inside and um lengthwise it's just really long like i'm probably gonna have to like put it at an angle somehow and i'm just really stressed because if it doesn't fit like i really don't know what i'm gonna do like i can't just leave it there because i've already like so basically i paid a deposit for her to hold it for me and so like i really don't know what i'm gonna do if it does not fit and i couldn't bring anyone with me to like maybe help me um i wish i did but like honestly i had to scoop my passenger seat up like all the way and so like whoever would have sat here would have had to be like a little child so like it just was not the move and like yeah so i'm really stressed that i'm gonna get there and this is not gonna fit in my car and if so like i really don't know what i'm about to do so um yeah that's my life right now um i know it's kind of dumb of me to be buying furniture like three weeks early but instead of just buying it when i'm there but it's like these are deals i could not pass up like who knows when i'll ever find that like anthropology mirror for like 50 dollars ever again so i had to do it i had to do it on them yo i'm literally sweating but i got the mirror and the table but it's like literally at my head so i'm really hoping the drive back is smooth and no one like hits me because this will literally break so the last time you guys saw me i was picking up some 
um like stone coffee tables and side tables for free and i was like trying to explain that situation but i didn't have my camera and my phone died but basically it was three um like pink and white like stone tables with glass tops all for free and i wanted the exact coffee table that she was giving for free before with this other girl on facebook marketplace and she was charging three 50 for just the table and i was like trying to negotiate with her and i was like could you do 200 and basically she started like fighting me so i just like left her on red and then i found this listing and <laughs> honestly i just wanted to be petty so i like sent her the listing i was like well you could have lowered it and sold it to me but i got all three of them for free and then she literally responded and was like good for you um, but anyways, today, I know I told myself I would not keep coming back and forth to pick up furniture, but I'm currently picking up furniture, um, in the bay, and the reason being is I've been eyeing the Marcel Brewer Kane Seska chairs for so long. And like I'm obsessed with them and people usually sell them for like I've seen some for like twelve thousand, two thousand, like four hundred a chair, six hundred a chair, three hundred a chair. But then I found one and or I found two for one fifty, which I think is a steal. So I'm about to pick it up in a bit. Like, I don't want to really invest in this place because it's not, like, not my home, you know? Like, it's not, like, permanent. Like, it's just an apartment. But I do want it to look cute, but on a budget. So, that's what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm not trying to splurge too much because, like, it's not my house, you know? But it, it is an apartment. So, yeah, not me just justifying this, but I feel like that is justifiable like I spend a lot of time at home so like why would you not want it to be cute you know so I secured the chairs they are so beautiful I love them I'm obsessed I think they'll go really well with the rest of my furniture um I'm just hoping they don't move around too much, but I think they should be fine because they're like on their side. Alright guys, so today is the day we are going to Ikea. Um, I just need some like, I have most of my like big furniture. Um, I just need some like basic type stuff like, you know, plates and like whatever. Plates and like silverware and like stuff like that so we're going to ikea i'm currently like trying to put myself together a little bit i'm like excited to move but i'm not excited for the actual process of like having to move your stuff you know but yeah okay you guys so I didn't finish vlogging at Ikea, but I basically got some essentials. Please ignore my car at the moment, but I got a mattress and then I got some like dish towels, cups, the dish rack, um, like plates and bowls, like cups, knives, silverware. And then I got this throw cause I want to do like kind of white and like pastel and then this like matches the plates so um right, guys yeah. so it's officially moving day today um currently getting the us because my car is a literal tank um but of course i had to stop at phil's first you already should know my order by now but um, I'll try to vlog as much as I can, but today's gonna be kind of hectic because I need to pick up my couch Like obviously put my stuff in I have to go to Ikea again like Target Stuff like that. So 
I'll try to pick up the camera as much as I can. Also, some of my stuff didn't come, like my rug and like shower curtains and stuff. So once like all of that comes, I'll show you guys like maybe like a little tour. Um, I basically like unloaded most of the boxes. Um, most of my furniture is here except for my bed frame and couch. And like my table is not built. Um, my rug for my living room is like back ordered, so annoying. Um, I put like all the clothes I brought for now. Because I'm not like fully moving in just yet because like I'm not going to stay here. I'm mostly just putting my put most of like my kitchen stuff away. My bathroom is like pretty much set up but I still need like shower curtain and then I need to like install um, like a towel rock because there's none. And then I want to get like some type of storage because my bathroom has like no storage. And then, yeah, I have like just the bare minimum in here right now, but I will update you guys. I don't even have curtains right now, so like everyone on the streets can just, you know, see me. Um, and then also I'm putting a door in between my living room and bedroom. I mean, this apartment is not a studio, but... For some reason, there's no door like between the two. So I'm gonna put that in because like, especially when people come over, like I don't want them to just be like facing my bedroom, you know? Like this is what it's like. And it's just weird because this is not a studio. So like, I don't know why there's no door, but yeah. I'm very greasy, very crusty. Um, but yeah, making progress slowly. I'm so excited to see it like come together. So you got this side table, um, and it's cute and all, but I want to like plaster it, so that's what I'm gonna do. It seems pretty simple, but hopefully I'm able to pull it off. So yesterday it kind of took a while, because you have to cover it with drywall tape, and then do three layers of plaster. And then after that, you have to put three coats of like clear um, sealant. And then today I was noticing like it was still kind of patchy. So I redid some parts and then put the sealant again. But I love it. This is how I styled it. So funny story about these is <laughs> I literally, I don't know what I was doing but i ordered eight by ten prints because i thought they'd be big enough to go in my frames like for my room but they were like literally this small so and like i wasn't using them so i thought it was cute and then this glass i thrifted and then these um camilla told me about they're actually like wax melts so you're supposed to like put these cubes into like the thing that melts wax for it to smell good and then this it was just a Zaberry Studios um, necklace. Yeah, I wanted to keep it like pretty simple, but I think it's so cute. And I was looking on like Crate and Barrel and stuff, and like these tables are like 300. I literally got the table itself off of Facebook Marketplace, and like 
with all the supplies and stuff, it was probably like $30 max, so. Also, I'm not gonna show all of it because like, I don't know, there's just some parts like, I don't feel like are worth showing, like, I don't know, my closet and stuff, but guys, I finally have a walk-in closet, like, literally a dream. Um, I don't know, I in my home, like my parents' home, I had never had a walk-in closet and like I literally had to like put my stuff into like well my brother's old room or like our guest room now and use the coat closet like I always had like so much clothes and um and then I got like a trundle for under my bed and I would always have to put clothes so I was like so excited um because this place there's like two like this is a walk-in closet and it's like pretty big me and my friends um make a joke about how like when they come over they can sleep in my closet that like was a big thing i feel like it's low-key like unnecessarily big but you know i'm i'm not complaining you feel me um and yeah just like my bathroom i guess like Maybe I'll show like bits and pieces. I'll just show you guys bits and pieces of the place because there's just something that I feel like I'm not trying to show. Like my closet right now is a mess. It's a world I love to be. Come on, let's go high above the ceiling. Oh, we could be feeling. Oh, what we could be feeling. I'm on I've got my own 